Community Inc. This game has us trying to build our own community and our own kingdom. So we're going to build the Grand Kingdom of Checkpoint Terpia, as per usual in these games. I can't ever think of a better name than Checkpoint Terpia. It's like, God damn it, I've got to be more imaginative. I need to spend some time drafting and coming up with some new ideas for these sort of games. Um, they're expecting us, apparently, so let's not keep them waiting. Tutorial. Um, okay, I should learn the basics before I do this. Uh, there are many random events like meteors, diseases, and other races attacks. Stay alert. Oh, God. So, I'm not sure how deep this game is. It's just gone into alpha right now. And it's kind of like a city building. Well, not city. It's more like a village building. Strategy, sort of survival element thing. Um, but it looks really cool. I've been put into the alpha by Tiny, Vi Tiny Build. Tiny Build? Tiny Build, who did the uh, publishing for this game. So yeah, this is really cool. It's developed by T4 Interactive. Hey there! Welcome to our company, Community Inc. As a new manager, you must complete eight goals in 30 days, so we'll have a good community to sell. But during this tutorial, we'll not need to do this. Just follow my instructions. You need to hire workers, the lings, assign their jobs, and produce items to sell or use inside your village. Okay. For this tutorial, the time speed, time speed will be very slow, so I'll have time to explain the basics for you. Also, you'll be able to select the buttons uh, that I enable to you. Uh, and you cannot save the game during the tutorial. With all this in mind, let's hire our first worker. You have to click, click that button on the bottom left of your screen. I will show you. Bang! Oh, there we go. Great, you have your first worker. Every worker already start with the builder profession. They will always come as a male or female one. And they are all great at working. Now, let's learn how to move the camera and select our worker and check the details. Okay. So, I'm going through the tutorial first. Just because I think it's a good idea for you guys to see the... Um, you know, the, the start of the game and all its glory and stuff. So here's our first work. It looks like we can lower the ground too. Oh, can we get real up, up close and personal? There he goes. Okay. Uh, Z and, Z and X to go up and down. Okay. Uh, Q and E. Uh, left control will make it slower and left shift will make it very fast. Okay, so... Wait, what? Left control will make it slower? Uh, so, like, if you adjust it, like, when you're moving around and stuff, like, this makes it a lot slower, but we can also press, um, left shift to make it faster. Yeah, like that. Okay. Let's just click done. Let's keep it as normal. Good. Now, check how to free move in your community. Let's check how time works. We have 30 days for each month. Each day can have a clear sky, rain, or snow. That's cool. You can also check this at the main upper center panel of your screen. Also, you can speed up or pause the time of the map. Let's go to the calendar so you can check it out. Alright, check the calendar and see how the weather is. Okay, so now we can see uh, each day Each day has different weather. Night is always cold, so make sure you provide fire sources. Craft and build a ground lantern during rain and snow. All day will be cold, so you need to craft better clothes for your workers. Okay. Uh, they may need to be heated or they may get sick. Great. Let's check the details of your worker. There are two options to open a link's details. You need to click on the links list or check directly from a worker after selecting him slash her. For, that, for now, let's click on the links list. So where is that? Down at the bottom here. All right, well, let's turn the, the calendar off. There we go. That was a bit laggy. Here you can check all workers you have available. You can also sort which ones. What is that? What are these things? Do you also see... Um, right, hold on, I'm a bit worried about that. Let's click on the worker. Oh! What's going on? I think my worker might be dying behind this dialogue box. Oh, they might be being vanquished, those big mushroom monster things. Here you can check all workers you have available. You can also sort which ones you want to see at the top of the list. So this is Thor Karai. Um, that is like the, the obscure cousin of Thor. It's Thur. Um, <laughs> he's not as famous as his uh, older cousin. Um, also you can see, oh look, an orc. I'm really getting distracted here. Uh, just click the sort buttons. You can also see, uh, what, you can also set what is the priority of gathering. When a worker is idle or doing nothing, he'll be available to get any resources dropped on the ground for your workers. If you're in need of something more than other, um, an example, just select it as a priority. If there's no priority, they'll just get the nearest resource. Okay. Let's click on our worker. Okay, there are a few things that need your attention always on your worker's status. Here you can see health, happiness, education, heated, and mood. The higher, the better. If their health reaches zero, they die. So this this must be this here, right? 
If their health reaches zero, they die. Simple as that. You can also increase happiness, providing a bed and good food. Education can be increased with books. You can read books at night if you have books available inside a library. Heated is important to avoid sickness. Building furnishings with fire sources and good, good clothes will do. Each fire source has a radius that will... What does this all mean? There's so much, like, information already. My god. Okay. Uh, mood lowers decrease when they are working because they get tired and, you know, working is not fun. Uh, they just want to play video games. When mood reaches a low value, they will look for something to have fun, relax, study, or pray. If you can build book cabinets, a guitar bench, and other things for this low happiness will make them... For this, low happiness will make them sad and depressed, causing them to start fights, leaving your village or set objects on fire to kill themselves. Oh my god! Alright. Low heated level will make them to get cold and get sick, losing health from time to time, and low acceptance will make them angry and you will lose control over them. It will start to destroy everything. Attributes make them then better, faster, and... Okay. Um... Right. Where's the inventory? Uh, the inventory is probably here, yeah. Okay. Uh, traits are what makes each ling unique. There are 12 different traits that are totally random when you hire someone, so make sure you check it. Okay. Um, let's select a new profession for this worker. Each ling can, up to have, can have up to five different professions, but only one active. The more they work, the better they get. Each profession will require a tool. Click in one of the new profession buttons and select the no lumberjack position. For now, you have a tool for this one only. Okay. So can we actually see the ling? Let's just do this right now. So we've got to select a new uh, profession. So it looks like we've got like, what's that, builder? Um, lumberjack, mining, farming perhaps? Um, all that stuff. We won't worry too much about that now. See, your work will now go to the nearest storage, for now only the cart, and get the tool required for the, uh, for the profession. Now you have a lumberjack who can cut trees for wood logs. As you can see, each profession requires a tool. Tools can be crafted by your lings on the crafting menu which we will check soon. At the beginning of a new village, you can always receive a few tools to start with. Now that you have a lumberjack, we need to select which tree you want to cut. The forage option can be used to select trees, rocks, plants, fish, fishes, and plantations. It can only be worked by farmers, lumberjacks, miners, fishermen, and herbalists. For example, today it will only work with trees. Select the forage button, upper left, and select a few trees. Okay, so do we have to... I guess when we get more people, like more different um, lings with different professions... Look, what is this thing? Oh my god, is that a dragon? Oh my god, a dragon's rolling through. I want to see how this guy reacts to this. Um, we do have a dragon right here, and also an Ent from Lord of the Rings. I think we're good there. Okay. Click on the forage button to select which tree. Okay, so can we select that one? Select at least three different trees. Okay. So can we do it, like, multiple? Oh, that's cool. There we go. Uh, your worker will go to the nearest mark tree to cut down as soon as possible. As you can see, you can directly control your workers. Only give orders. We will see about crafting and building. Actually, you can issue direct commands and orders to warriors only. We will see about that soon too. Now let's hire another worker. I'm sure you remember how to do it, right? Yep, it's like this. Uh, this new worker will start gathering res resources dropped by a lumberjack after working on a tree. This happens because the new worker will be doing nothing besides waiting for new orders. So, as I said before, workers that are idle or doing nothing will always gather resources on ground. Okay. Uh, let's wait for them to get at least eight logs. So, where's my new fella? Oh, he's here, right? Yeah, here he is. What, what's his name? Can I click on him? Did used to be... Okay, we can... Okay, it's Cloud Bolsier. I believe that's the French name. Cloud Bolsier. Uh, Checkpoint Terpia is off to a rip-roaring start though. Look at this. Um, we've got the trees being cut down. Everything's going good. Look, he's chipping and chopping away. That's what I like to see. Hard work will pay off. That's why I always hear, like, on, on like, Facebook statuses, when people, like, post their accompli or, uh, accomplishments, and they're always like, they always, without fail, they always put, hard work pays off. And it's just like, ugh. Ugh, because, you know, everyone works hard. It's just a bit like, ooh, look at me. Yeah. Um, why don't we speed up the game? Um, okay. Okay, so this is like max speed. So it looks like, where's the other worker? Oh, they're like passing the... Oh, I thought they were passing the logs over to each other. So this guy is... Looks like he can carry about three logs at a time or something. Raw materials are required to craft many other items. Be sure to have it stuck. For example, wood logs can be acquired from trees. Stone raw can be acquired from rocks. With these items, we can craft many more. There are also plants and plantations that can drop other raw materials. I'm sure that you will learn that in time by yourself. Winky face. <laughs> what a creep. 
Okay, we have enough raw materials to craft some items, but first let me explain about items that you can put on the ground. Workers will need workbenches or workplaces to create items, furnishings. Each profession requires a different workbench for the lumberjack. And builders will need a worker workbench. A worker workbench. Fortunately, we already have two in our storage. You can always select, uh, start with some, but you can craft more later. Let's put it on the ground, select the button flashing on your left. Okay. Um, this is actually a storage list window, but with interactive items already sorted out for you. It's a shortcut. Now let's select an item that can choose that we can choose a place near the cart for the builder to build. Okay. So the other link is the builder, right? Select a, a valid place. So let's put it near the cart. I believe that's what it said, right? I don't think we can put it directly next to it. So let's just put it here. Uh, wait for the item to be built. So let's just zoom in here so we can actually see how fast do we want this to be. Okay. Let's slow down a bit. Here we go. Well, he's, he's, he's building away. Just slapping that sign with a hammer. And uh, this is exactly how you make things, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever want to be creative... Oh my god, I'm ooh, I'm feeling better in my job. I just got a new level. Good for you, buddy. How can I uh, change between lings? Do I have to select them? Okay, hold on. Uh, great, now we have a new worker bench built. A worker white bench, sorry. This item can be used to craft a lot of other items. Let's check about this. Crafting items, it can produce many types of items, including food and healthcare. Right. Um, so if I just go here briefly. Oh, I don't think I can yet. Open the crafting window on your left. Five categories of crafting, food, healthcare, crafted goods, furnishing, and combat. So it's which type you want to see on your left. There is a list of items with which you can craft. The window of the middle shows you the requirements. Okay. Um, the right window shows you the production queue, which is the items to be crafted. Okay. Uh, we want to build a wood plate, apparently. So we have a worker workbench and one wood log. And we only need a level one lumberjack for that. So yes, we can build the, uh, the wood plate. I think I accidentally built two. Oh no, he's building a lot. Um, okay, so now... Oh, damn. It said now... Feel free to explore the game's other things, but I didn't do it in time. Hey, great, you did it. You now have a few workers of different professions and how to handle crafting. This ends our first part of the tutorial. If you want to know more, check the next one, food producing. Or you can go back to the main menu and start for real. Okay. Should we just start for real? Should we just go for it? Should we just dive straight in and see if we can get things done? Let's do it. Let's get to work. What is your name again? Um, new, new employee. <laughs> it's not even, we don't get to put our name. Oh, here we go. Uh, name. S oh, yeah, that is exactly how you spell my name. <laughs> okay. Steve. Village name. Checkpointopia. Last date. I'm not, I'm not sure. Normal mode. All events, challenges, creatures, and dangers. Let's see if we can handle a real village. We'll do that. It looks like, can we select from different, like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I thought we could select from different, um, different like landscapes and regions and biomes because it says one out of four i guess not there um so these are all the different modes uh we can adjust all this i think we're just going to keep it as it is the only thing i'm going to change is the um oh i don't think we can change the learn i wanted to change it so we had a bit more just because we barely started but if not that's okay let's just go um in as we are let's press start and let's see what we come up with so i imagine that the world we arrive in is going to be procedurally generated and stuff so that's what it looks like anyway it looks like it's creating a whole bunch of stuff so i we've done one tutorial <laughs> this should go really well that's my that's my prediction we're gonna do really well i'm just kidding we're gonna die a lot we're gonna lose so many people it's gonna be a massacre did you see the size of those dragons i mean come on oh a cutscene. hello boss you are allocated to take care of a new community for our company. You have 30 days to complete all objectives for our company. Check, check then you pause the game. I imagine that's supposed to say check when you pause the game. Make sure your workers are happy or they can do bad things to the community. Yeah, like setting themselves on fire to kill themselves. There'll be several contracts that will come from other creatures. Choose wisely. Portals will be used to transport new links and also can be used by other races for trading or fighting. So maybe we have to defend the portal. Now, let's get to work. Uh, you can just continue after the 30 days. It's up to you to decide. Good luck. Thanks. Community Inc. I'm ready. Let's do this. We've had we've had all our training. I'm ready to get into this. Come on. 
Hurry up. I'm, I'm pressing skip. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, let's get straight in and pause the game time just so we can remember how to do, the, do things. So, we have 600. I suggest we build two workers um, as we did before. Oh, wait. We've got to wait for it to recharge. So, this guy. Hey, what do you say? I'm bored or something? This is Phelps Guster. All right. Let's have a look at him. So, he's a builder. We can change that profession there um, to the lumberjack. He needs an axe. Oh, he's got one, I think. Or he's going to grab one. Yeah, a new job for me. Okay, let's have him cut some wood down. Let's see if we can remember how to do it. Uh, well, let's pause the game. So I believe it was over here, right? Somewhere? Uh, it was the forage. Forage tool. So have we got to have him collect, uh, selected? Probably. Let's select him. So do we have to go through there every time to select things to do? Hold on, let's press play again. To select things to do? That doesn't seem right. There we go. Cut down all these trees and that rock, apparently. There we go. So he should get to work on that. And then we need an assistant, a new Ling, who will be passive at the moment, but will also pick up all the uh, logs we're getting across. What is this? A campfire? I'm not sure. Okay, so we've got this guy cutting away. He's already cutting some trees down. He brings them back to the cart. Um, let's have a look at our other guy, John Karai, who is a builder. So we've already got him up to level three. That's pretty cool. Um, so gathering priorities. Um, wood resources. Let's put the priority as wood for now, just while this is getting cut down. As you can see, this guy's bringing it all back. And then we'll get crafting. We'll put the worker workbench down. And let's just have a look around this land. How far have we got? How big is this map? Okay, it's still... That's quite a distance. Can we get across to this thing? What is it? Like mountains? I imagine that, like, there'll be different little nooks and crannies and treasure for us to discover, like, on each map. Like, little special bits. Like, what is this? What is that thing? That looks interesting. Um, alright, let's get back to my... Oh, God, where are they? Okay, they're down here. Don't want to lose my village already. Okay, so we're getting all this stuff picked up. Let's speed it up a little bit. Uh, we've got to make sure we're managing our stuff, our resources and our money in the top right there. So we're building... Oh, look, we can create new buildings and stuff. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. I think we've got all the stuff. And there's a little bit more. All right, these guys are working very slowly. Who are these? Who are these fellas? They're like eagle things. Hello. Um. Oh, Okay. A contract. Hello again. This time we need to ask if you have some trader books and some saw. We'll try something different here. If we have it, uh, if you have it, we can pay. So we need to get a trader book and some saw. We need eight of each and our reward will be $200 and uh, relation plus five. I'm going to refuse it for now just because I don't think we can do that. So I guess every time someone comes up to the portal, it um, will kind of... Okay, we need to start crafting stuff, don't we? It will... Um, Give us new contracts or different interactions. Uh, where is the worker workbench? How exactly did we do that again? How did we do that? Was it just crafting? No, because it must be built on the ground. Let me just see if I can remember how to do this, guys. Hold on. Here we go. Worker workbench. We just want one. Um, I don't want two, but apparently we've got two. Um... So, yeah, we've got the worker workbench. Um, set this object on fire for testing purposes. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. But hopefully we can get a builder working on it. Oh, this guy's hungry, I think. He's eating something. I don't remember getting any food. Okay. Um, right, I think we're all good. So, will this guy now go build the... Excellent. Okay. We need to be careful. I want to build like a little house. Oh! Who is this? It's like an... An orc or something. He went through the portal. Okay. Woohoo, new job level. Okay. So, the first thing I want to do is get a little building made for them. Just because that sounds like something we need. We need a house, right? The basic house for lings. Okay, we need a lot of stuff. Um, okay, we can still do it and put it on the ground. We need wooden plates for that. Interesting. Oh! Who is this? It's like two golems or something. Do they just walk straight through? Where are my dudes? 
Where did they go? Okay, he's over there. A oh, lord, there's like a, an, a, a stern golem rave party outside of my portal. Get out of here, you hooligans. So, what's this guy running low on? Education. Great. Um, let's just see what happens here. So, they're looking alright. They're looking pretty good. Hopefully, this guy doesn't attack. Um, right, I think we're all good. I think we're cool, okay? Just chill. Uh, let's pause it. Uh, now we have the crafting bench. We can actually work on crafting certain things. So, we need the wooden. Oh, we need the stone bricks. So we need some stone for that. Let's start building some wooden plates then. Um, wait, what? We didn't need stern for that before. There we go. That was weird. Uh, uh, I think we need to press play to be able to do it. Crafting. Wooden plate. Okay, they're already being crafted. Now we need the stern bricks as well. So I imagine we need some miners. Uh, are they dead? Small creatures may attack me without a bed. Well, you know, dude, I'm, I'm trying my best. Um... What do we need to make a bed? Uh, we're being we're being crafted goods. No, it doesn't say bed anywhere. Healthcare, furnishings, right? Wood bed. Ah, we need some plates, some fiber plants. Okay. Well, we're already working on those those plates, so let's just speed it up, just so we can get through the night, hopefully without being attacked. Okay, here we go. We're back active. Let's put back into. This mode. So what is he working on here? Is he working on the wooden plates? I think he is. And that's going to bring it over to our storage. So I want... Uh, is this guy the... This is the builder. So who's this guy? Why is the lumberjack working on... Like... Oh, I guess he's building wooden plates, I guess. Oh, look. A sun sunrise. Nice. Um, right. I've got to kind of work on making sure everyone's collecting the right things. Collect... Some of this. I want some plant fiber. Um, maybe we'll have to... Yeah. Okay. Um, we have to probably hire someone who's... Who's, uh, specialized in that. Um... So he's a builder. We can probably change him, though. Who's... What's he called? Julius Kark. Um, or Gark, rather. Let's change his profession... To... Um, a farmer? Perhaps? Or maybe we need someone to defend us. Like, do we have, like, a warrior? A hunter? Guard? Oh, well, that'd be good. Let's have, a, let's have a guard. Just so we've got someone rolling around. Oh, look, they're, like, talking to each other. That's cool. So, yeah, this is the, the guard here. He's just gonna defend us from, uh, from bad guys. I want the... Nah, no, I want the lumberjack to cut down more trees, please. Like a bunch of them over here. If that is not too much to ask. Just so we can get all these wooden plates back in. We also need a miner. Um, we also need those beds. So let's just go back and check the... Oh, look. We good? Okay, so this looks like another trader rolling through. Um, let's get off forage mode. So is he going to give me... I used to, he, he, before he gave me a thing, didn't he? Like a little task. Let's have a look here. So where is it? Furnishings? Yeah, wood bed. Um, right. We need fiber plants for that. We've got cotton from somewhere. Um, okay. So do we have, as I said, we probably need a farmer for this. So let's hire one more worker. Just one more. We don't want to waste all of our money. But this will be useful. This will be a good investment if we can kind of, what's it called? De, de more. Demore. Select, select the new position as, or profession rather. Um, not a herbalist, a farmer. Speed it up so you can get right to work. Is he doing it or? Oh, I think the guard just chased him out. Where, where did our guy go? Okay, he's farming. Okay, good. What's he found? Anything good? Uh, inventory, okay. So these are the attributes as well. We didn't really have a look at these. The traits, true warriors, true leaders and warriors. Okay. So he should be fetching some stuff here. I'm not sure if he's fetching like plant fiber. That's what we need. That's what I sent him for. I guess he's making food there. 
Uh, we know that stone golems are evil. They want to eliminate everyone. Why don't we show them that we are not weak? If we can deal with some of them, we will pay well. Okay, let's accept that because we need the dollar. So how do we get plant fiber? Um, do we have somewhere for our... Somewhere for our inventory. I'm not sure. Is it on this side? No storage space. There's no food left in your storage. Okay, great. Well, can we check out the storage? Got some messages. Okay, that's everyone leveling up and stuff. Contracts. Yeah, we've got an act active contract right now. Um, looks like there's someone about to attack here. Looks like a wolf boy. Okay. Um, right. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but I think what we'll do is wrap it up there. Just because we've been recording for a while. If you guys enjoyed Community Inc. and you want to see it more on the channel, please let me know. Uh, so far, it seems like a very cool game that I'm sure we're going to get lost in. It also looks like this Ent is about to absolutely rip apart our guard. Look look how many bad guys are surrounding her. Poor, poor girl. Um, if you guys want to see more of it, please let me know. Because it looks quite fun so far. And I'd be happy to play more. Uh, I think I will complete the tutorials off screen as well, so you don't have to deal with me reading a whole bunch of, of text and stuff. So, um, for the next episode, you can expect me to be an absolute god and an absolute master at this game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Steve. That has been Community Inc. Welcome to Checkpointopia. Checkpoint complete.